Hi everyone, my name is Anna and I'm a graduate scientist from the University of Cambridge and now an educational consultant. And in this video I will be discussing the benefits of using pen and paper to take your notes over using laptops and tablets. So please stay tuned, press the thumbs up for this video, press the subscribe button and let's get into it. So note-taking is absolutely essential in order to succeed in your studies. Note-taking is an essential process to summarize information from your classes or lectures. The better your notes are, the higher the grades. It's therefore important to perfect your note-taking method. However, with an increased usage of technology in education, there is a long-standing question whether you should be taking your notes using pen and paper or use your laptop or a tablet with a pen instead. So let me provide you with some scientific evidence and then you can make your own mind up what works best for you at the end of this video. So let's get into it. Number one, laptop note-taking is faster but results in shallower knowledge. It's no surprise that taking notes on using your laptop is much faster. You can basically type up everything your teacher says word for word. You might think this is very advantageous for your learning because you are taking all the information in and very quickly summarizing it on your laptop. However, that's not really the case because, first of all, anyone really can type up the notes. You don't have to specialize in your subject. You can ask anyone to type up the notes. So by typing up, you're not really focusing on the subject. You're more focusing on taking the notes as fast as possible. So your brain doesn't process information in depth and if resulting in the shallower knowledge of that specific lecture or class. So you need to decide whether it's worth sacrificing your laptop typing speed versus actually taking notes using pen and paper, but getting a higher quality content from your lessons. This brings us to point number two, laptop note-taking results in a better immediate recall. The recent study has shown that the laptop note-taking results in higher scores if you are tested on your immediate recall. The way the experiment was conducted, the students were asked to transcribe the notes so they were told what to write using the laptop and using pen and paper. And without allowing any time for students to study, they were then tested on what they have written pretty much instantly after writing the notes. And so basically this experiment tested the immediate recall. And what this experiment showed that the students who used the laptop to take the notes, they did much better compared to the people who used pen and paper. However, here is the catch. When were you in a lesson or in a lecture where you were examined straight after that class? So the way education works is usually that we're tested on a termly or a yearly basis. In my opinion, this experiment is not representative of the way we are examined. So keep this evidence in mind, but know that it's not really reflective of your true education. This brings us to the point number three, pen and paper note-taking increases the scores. A recent study at Princeton University has shown that students scored much higher in their tests when they used pen and paper versus laptops to take their notes. If we start to dissect this, it's really not surprising because if you use pen and paper to take your notes, that allows you to paraphrase uh, and summarize into information into concepts. And this results in a better conceptual learning and is the conceptual learning that will be tested in your exams. So in my opinion, this experiment is more representative on the way we are tested. So by using pen and paper during your classes, you are learning a skill of how to summarize information in more detail. And you over the time, you're actually going to learn on how to pick on most, inf most important information and write that down. And over the time, this skill will get stronger and stronger, and you will actually be much faster in your lectures writing the notes. This brings us to my final point, number four, pen and paper note-taking decreases the response time and increases neuronal activity. So this is a very recent study. The paper has just been published in March 2021. So in research world, very, very recent. And what it showed that, again, using the conceptual learning and testing, the volunteers were asked to remember certain information 
and then they were obviously tested on that. So what this paper showed that the response time for answering the questions was the shortest for the group using pen and paper, but then it was a little bit longer for tablet and a pen, and then it was a little bit increased for the laptop. What is interesting about this research, this is one of the first papers that actually tested note-taking using pen and paper and tablet with a pen, because one might argue that they're actually very similar, and I interchangeably use them myself to take notes at the moment. What was interesting, though, is that this group argues that we're better at remembering notes from a paper than a tablet, because each paper is slightly different in the physical appearance, and but tablet is uniform. Each page is the same. And they argue that by having those physical differences within a paper actually causes us to remember the information better. In addition, this experiment also tested the brain activity using the magnetic resonance imaging while the students were answering the questions. And it showed that the students who used pen and paper had an increased neuronal activity in the certain areas of the brain. I'm not a neurobiologist, so if you're interested about finding more details about this experiment, they will be all linked in my blog or description box below. So this paper suggests that by using pen and paper to note-take, there'll be a higher level of processing of information going in your, in your brain. But again, there is more work that needs to be done on that. So I would say one key takeaway from this research is find the method that works best for you. Do not just mindlessly copy notes word for word, but instead rearrange them into concepts and paraphrase them into your own words. And I will see you in my next video and stay tuned. Goodbye.